Yeah, and I want to go to the right. And we'll just kind of just run right out from the band when we're like, we need to be in the Hey everybody, I'm Chanel Herlin for the new Music Buzz and we are here at the Arclight Cinemas in Hollywood for the premiere of F The Prom. I'm super excited to speak to the cast, so let's see what they have to say. Ready? As I'll ever be. Do you really think high school's gonna be all that different from middle school? I don't want people to think I'm a loser. Worst case, you always have me. What's up, bro? Ooh, tidy. Keeping it clean, tidy. Oh no. Maddie Danner. Everyone is on her feed. Did you guys see Maddie's eyebrows from last weekend? Oh, on fleek. What about this one? Go with the football pick. It's more iconic. Like a Taylor Swift song. Oh, you're so right. Prom is just around the corner. Guessing you still don't have a date for the prom. Prom is about sex. Come on, Maddie. G2G. <laughs> Maddie, it's not what it looks like. So it's not my boyfriend and best friend making out for some optical illusion of that? Well, if you believe that, then yes. Oh my god. Uh, he's mean. He's a mean boy. Um, so I'd like to think that I'm, I'm nothing like him, but yeah, he's, his name is Nick. Uh, he, he's a, he's a mean, a mean man. Um, and yeah, I can't give away too much. Uh, there's some, uh, steamy photos involved in my character arc. Hey, <laughs> yeah, so expect that. So as an actor, is it fun for you to kind of play that darker, meaner role as opposed to a good guy? Yeah, it's fun. You know, it's obviously, um, it was a challenge, just like any any role is, especially a mean one, to be like believable and like justify my mean actions. But um, it was fun. It was fun more than anything. Hey, this is the cool dad. Well, hey? Yeah, you know, the inappropriate dad. <laughs> my Very inappropriate oh dad. Oh my gosh, have you seen a screener of this? I watched the film today. Yeah, you know, there's some things that they lined up for me in the script that uh, I said, really? I have to say this is, and this is the guy. He, uh, ill-timed, uh, ill-mannered, just completely um, off-center. Doesn't really have a grip on um, protocol and it is completely inappropriate. And maybe no filter whatsoever. No, no filter. No filter. My character is um, I, she's she's really lighthearted. Like she's very she's very she's very excited. She's very um, she really cares. I mean, I think that's something that's carried throughout the movie. She does care about people, and she does. She's very. I, I don't want to say a people pleaser, but she definitely falls into the high school rut of kind of like not wanting to disappoint people. So. In doing so, she does end up disappointing because you can't please everyone. And I think like a really good message in this movie is that being yourself is really the only way that you're ever going to kind of fit in because standing out is the best way to kind of live. I think you know, just being yourself. And she does. She at the she's a different person at the beginning than she is at the end. And so I think at the end of the movie, she really just kind of embraces who she is and the people that she cares about. She just makes sure that they know that she cares. Part of me just wishes I could go to prom. Destroy that prom. Let me take off those tidy whiteies. Are you high? A little, but that doesn't mean I don't mean what I say. Welcome to prom. You guys ready to make this a prom they will never forget? Hell yes. So I'm turned on right now. It was incredible. I, uh, I, I've worked with uh, people out of state a lot of times. This is one of the first times I made a, a um, like an ensemble movie in LA where everyone stayed in LA. So I actually doubled my friend group filming this movie alone. And what's fantastic about that is that we hang out, we go out, we have fun together. We just we're creating memories on set and then continuing so after filming, and that is incredible. What can you tell us about your character? Give us a little tease. So Cole's one of the outcasts who uh, really doesn't care about prom, but he's brought into it because this girl of his dreams really convinces him to, and then he gets into it. So then he really starts putting in the effort on like ruining the night for other people, specific things on what they should do, and uh, he really finds in himself the ability to take control and be a leader. I am here to support Benny. I have worked with him for, oh my gosh, like the last six years. So yeah, I'm really excited for him. Having the title, If The Prom, what kind of movie are you expecting? Um, uh, hopefully there's some kind of a prom involved. I assume there'll be drama. High school, there's always drama. So yeah. And what was your high school experience like? 
My high school experience was interesting. I went in as a junior and like didn't know anyone and um, it was honestly, I spent a lot of time like going back and forth, like coming up here and writing music and I'm from Orange County, going back there and then just being in high school. But yeah, I don't know. I wrote about it a lot actually. I just released this EP called Rebel and um, it kind of, that was stemmed from all of that time in high school, so yeah. My character's kind of funny. She always has like the punchline kind of things that you wouldn't expect her to have. She comes in in those moments where it's like, where was she that whole time? So she she's very jokey, but she was a really fun character to do. And when I filmed this, I was really big fans of the Fine Brothers and they had offered me, oh, excuse you. <laughs> Um, and they had, <laughs> yeah, very hectic. But they'd offered me the role, and I was like, of course I want to do it. I love the Fine Brothers, so, yeah. What are you hoping that fans and viewers take away after watching this film? Friend What's that with you? Yeah, friendship. It's all about friendship, you know? And I think that's one of the best things that's happened with this movie is that we've all become such close friends. And that's why it sort of resonates with us. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I think it kind of speaks to every type of kid in high school. If there's, there's a character for every single person to kind of, like, just get and understand and yeah. we play all different characters yeah. <laughs> and and then also I mean what he said like off camera that's where all of the really fun stuff happened I wish we had like a behind the scenes camera crew that had a bunch of behind the scenes stuff because it was so it was yeah. so much the fun the chemistry of the cast is just yeah. unreal it's insane. It's insane. yeah I just think that like there's a character in here for absolutely everyone and and no matter who you are and what you've been through in your life like there's going to be something in this that you can really relate to so well I have the final word after the epic speech, silence, look at everybody, and I say a one-liner that's pretty heavy, so. Hey guys, I'm Danielle Campbell. Hey guys, I'm at Ian Zeering. Hey guys, I'm Aiden Alexander. Hello, I'm Diamond White. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan. I'm Meg DeLacy. And I'm Jill Cimarelli. And, and you've, you've just been buzzed. <laughs>